Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. And this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of someone who's getting some sort of peace of mind. This is someone who is getting reassurance, um, no longer being stressed out by a situation or a stressful situation is finally being resolved or removed. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Page of Cups, Water Energy, the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so there is definitely an energy here that you and someone could be clearing the air with the Ace of Swords. And um, it looks like there's this feeling of getting back to a happy place in love, uh, coming from the heart space with the Page of Cups, looking at a relationship with a new set of eyes, more loving eyes, and both people committing to doing the work for this connection to be nurtured correctly. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, in Aries, Leo Energy. So yeah, there's definitely an energy of a burden being removed, a weight being lifted off your shoulders. Okay, so let's see. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Three of Swords, Air Energy, and the Five of Wands, Fire Energy. So it could be um, referring to a conflict in your love life that you guys are finally healing and moving on from. You're getting over some sort of difficulty. And with the three of swords in the reverse, there could be an energy of forgiveness, mutual forgiveness here. Yeah. You and someone are getting on the same page and you're overcoming something that was an obstacle in your relationship. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, we have nothing will come of this situation void of course moon so there is definitely an energy of something has been stressing you out and nothing will come of that you know your negative thoughts your fears your um intrusive thoughts won't manifest you know there's that energy here that nothing will come of that there's a feeling of something being temporary like a period of darkness that's temporary let's see We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And we have Lily, majesty and virtue. The Lily is the emblem rare of many virtues, good and rare. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. We have 
surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So there's an energy here of moving towards success, moving to a better, a better place, really valuing what you have instead of fighting each other. There's this feeling of fighting the problem. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.